another deer. Yeah. Do you know my computer gets me sick? I mean, I, I'm watching John work the computer, and I get to see everything he's doing. Uh -huh. We used to have a cardboard thing that would... It can make you crazy watching him type in what's going oh, on. No. I, I tell you, I'm, I'm not even listening to what you're talking about. I'm so busy watching the computer and what's going on. i got to shut my eyes when I do the show. That's what happened so, to the, the blocker? <clears throat> that system can't be right. I shouldn't have to see what the other guy's typing. But what happened to the blocking thing that used to be there? It's a piece show? of cardboard. It's there, but somehow it's it's going lower and lower, oh. the, the, the writing. I, I can't even tell you what's going on. I hate computers. I, I love them, but this can't be right. Can't you type? Can't John type into a computer and send it to me, and I don't have to see what he's typing? I guess you're looking at real time there. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how it all works. Not a posting. No, no, don't come come in to explain nothing to me. Is the cardboard there? Yeah, it's there. Yeah, leave. Oh, this guy's a pain in the ass, this John. <laughs> I tell you, he's the Why only guy I got. He's the only. I don't know what he's doing back at the studio. He's the only guy I have a problem with. What's the problem? You know, it, Artie has never called me at home. You never call me at home. Fred never calls me at home. Only guy who always you know, has something he needs to talk to me about is John. Stuttering John. <laughs> he's, the, he's, in the, he's definitely in the Jackie category. Jackie always had something. I'm going to need, <laughs> need to talk to you about something. You know, they're asking me to do something, and uh, I got a problem. And uh, uh, He can't figure anything out for himself. Looking for a daddy, you know? Mm. No, so I get a call from Stuttering John on my home machine on, like, I don't know, Monday. Oh. Of the stupid. So I get the call Monday, and he says, uh, 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 okay, can you call me back? Uh, uh, calls like twice. Can you call me b back? Now, the reason he calls twice, I called him back immediately. Uh-huh. I don't blow people off. I called him right back. He's got phone numbers. For, I call, can't find him. I call the number I have. I get a machine. Hey, hey, this is, uh, you know, we're not here right now. I don't, I don't, and uh, uh, have a great holiday. Says, have a, a great holiday. holiday. I think what was it? Simchas Torah. What <laughs> <laughs> holiday? So, so. Uh, Who goes? I guess it's an old message or a joke of some kind. Well, maybe it's his phone that he lost. You don't know what you. I don't know what I'm calling. So then I, so then I hear the beep and it goes. Bop, 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 bop. <laughs> message is full. Message is full. So I go, what is this guy? It, he's aggravating you when you try <laughs> to call back. I mean, leave the proper number. The number he left me, is right, he's not there, and there's a full machine, empty machine. So I just said, I'm getting aggravated. Yeah, of course. I have to hunt him down now? So I forgot about it. I just said, screw it. I'm not calling him. Right. I don't even care what he it is. He should make it easy. Make it easy so people can get in touch with you. But he can't. He's a baby. No Everything what, is no done for him. Oh, I could tell you a story. Well, I'll give you the end of mine and tell right. me yours. Talking about a baby. Hey, he's a baby. <laughs> He just literally can't do a thing for himself. So uh, I was getting annoyed, and I went, I just said, forget it, release it. So then Laura, my assistant, gets calls. John, now Laura's calling me for John. John needs to speak to you. He says you're not returning his calls. And now I'm going insane because now I've got to call Laura, hunt down the guy's number, my machine, you can leave your number. Right. Why? He can't do that? I don't know. He doesn't know. He doesn't even know that his own number is wrong. He leaves a number. He doesn't know the number you should call. He doesn't clear out the messages, so you can't leave a I'm message. I'm telling you, you got the broken, the lost phone. Okay. Well, I mean, that's my fault, <laughs> but he's still giving out that number. So I'm going berserk because, you know what? I'm just going berserk. Yeah. I got a million things going on in my life. John has no clue how friggin' busy I am and what's going on in my life, especially post-divorce. You know, there's always problems and, you know, all kinds of stuff going on in my personal life. Trying to keep that together. And I got this yutz. He's got a problem. Take care of your problem. Call Gary. That's what Gary's there for. We got a problem. So I get the message from Laura. I call Gary immediately. I said, listen. This, you, I said, give me a heads up here. This stuttering John is calling me at home. He's got problems, personal problem. What is it? Do you know what it is? 
He goes, no, you better call me back and tell me. Sounds good. <laughs> oh, so I said, do you have a number on the guy? If I wanted to call him, because at this point, I, I just yeah, want to call him. anybody know how to reach yeah. him? So he gives me a number. It's a number, a new number I it's never even heard. It's not even a number you, you I've got. got four numbers. This is a completely new number. I'm crossing crap out of my book. Well, that is very much like Jackie. Jackie always had oh, a million numbers. a million numbers. There's no one number. I'm at the East Studio. Yeah, no, I'm at, no, not that house. No, the go, other. Yeah. Call, call, call Spinning Plates Production, and that call will be forwarded to my, to my, to my, uh, my, uh, yeah, this, he's Avenue not kidding. Home. He is oh, not exaggerating. Oh, absolutely. You would call, and they say, no, Jackie's over at the office, no, no. which is right next door. Yeah, what is the office? You got That's my another dump of a house. <laughs> another shanty. That's my mother-in-law. Yeah, you know, call my mother-in-law. <laughs> Who's your mother-in-law? She works for us. Uh, but but my my equipment is over my parents' house. Oh wait, my mother-in-law's off. Call you, call Dot. <laughs> you call Dot because my mother has the equipment in her attic. And you never no. knew you'd have so many numbers. You never knew where you were calling. No, the, the studio on the south side got flooded, so we had to move all phone trunks. Oh, oh, you didn't okay. get the house. You got the office. That that you know yeah. you try to call a number. No no no, Jackie's not here. He's at home. No no, I'm in the satellite phone. <laughs> yeah, so he's the same way. He suddenly now he has that 17 residences. So, so I, get this, I get the phone call from Gary. I, I mean, I get the phone number from Gary, and yeah. I call. And it rings through, and it's Susanna, okay. his wife. Yes. And I'm so irritated at it now. I get on, and I go, do you know? I don't even say hello. I go, do you know? I'm trying to get in touch with John. Yeah, you're screaming at his wife. Because he's got some sort of problem. I said, do you know what the problem is? I said, because I'm going out of my mind here. I said, you got to have a phone number that works. Yeah, I can't even reach it. So I, know, I, call, I, I said, I called the number, and it, the, it's been message full for two days. So obviously, it's his voice. Yeah. So she, she starts laughing. Ah, <laughs> and I'm going, she's laughing. It's funny. This is funny to them. I'm the guy he's trying to get in touch with, and I can't get in touch with him. Stupid. Don't d leave me alone. Just leave <laughs> me alone. It's not funny. It's, Talk it's to not Gary. Fun. That's what Gary's. Doing. Now he's sidestepping Gary. Uh. And God only knows what this is. I mean, who knows what it is? He better have like cancer. <laughs> he better need a liver. <laughs> yeah, he better need a liver. <laughs> so, I said to Susanna, I "Have John call me." I'm on my way out to be with my kids. If I don't hear from him or if I hear from him and I don't pick up the phone, it means I'm busy with them. So what? So I get a message from him. Uh, uh, hello? <laughs> goes, uh, I heard you're trying to reach me. I heard you, yeah, I heard you're trying to reach me. I, 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 there's something I, I need to talk to you about. I'll, I, I want to do it in person. I, it'll only take 20, 25 minutes. <laughs> 25, 25 minutes? minutes. I, <clears throat> I'm like... I'm like, are you kidding me? I can't stand to be in the room for a minute. Twenty-five minutes. Write me an email. Now I'm yelling it. I'm yelling at his message. <laughs> You're probably banging your phone. I don't want any problems. I don't want to let Gary hear all that. And I know it's going to be. I, I, I need some time off. I, I, I got offered up. I'm, I'm just going to say, you know what? No. No. Mm. If you ask me, the answer is no. If you ask Gary, we'll consider it. <laughs> Don't bother me. Don't ever, ever bother me. Ever. You want to socialize? Fine. Stop bothering me. Because as soon as I start talking to him again, he's got a problem. <laughs> For two days, I didn't talk to him. It was perfect. <laughs> oh, you know, I, I turn on this Fox News Network. In five minutes, they explain what's going on in the Iraqi war. He needs 25 minutes to explain what's going on with him. 1010 10 says if you give him 20 minutes, they'll give you the world. <laughs> yeah. He wants to say, I need 25 to explain my world. I need to, I need to, I need to, I'm going out of my mind with this guy. Come on in here. Okay, come in and explain to me the 25 minutes. You're killing me, dude. It's very funny. <laughs> it's hysterical. What number did you give him? I, I, I'm laughing back there. Wait, What number did you... Uh... I gave you all my right numbers. I swear <laughs> I to God. God. And why is it message full? You called Long Two Island, days. though. But that's what you left uh, no, me. I, no, I never leave Long Island. I'm, I'm in the city. I, I don't know you how... plug in a number. 
Yeah, that's my um, that, that, that's my city number. I never would plug in. I don't know how that. The only and Howard, I swear to you, listen, I swear on my life. I just said to Laura that. Oh, don't say that. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> I didn't know that. No, no, just leave, leave, leave my life alone. Okay, please. Because you know yet. All right, I got to get you out of my life. No, 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 no. <laughs> well, I, there was a problem getting in touch with you before, so I, right. I, 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 assume, I didn't think that you weren't. I, 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 I get your messages. I can't reach you. It's impossible. One number, John. One number. But see, I have two. You know, right. I understand. And right. I have, what is it you need to talk I, to me? And I have two cell phones. Tell Gary what it is, please. No, no, I, no I just something that personal I want to talk to you about. I really, I'd rather not do be, it on the Is it going to end in what should I do? It's just going to be a personal conversation. All right. Is it going to end in like I've got to give you permission to do something? No, it's going to be a personal conversation. All right, well, hold it. I just want to know the answer to this question. It's nothing about your business. Is it going to end? In, I, I don't know what it's going to end like. No, no. Are you going to say to me, can I have permission at the end? No. Okay. I tell you, I, I, I get agitated when I have to go meet with this guy. And I don't have 25 minutes. I just no. don't have it. I don't want to sit here for 25 minutes and talk lunch, to you. Or, no, uh, I don't want to have lunch. Or have a few drinks. No, I don't have time. I don't have time, pal. Uh -huh. Is this a favor of any kind? No. Yeah, I don't want... A favor. It's not I don't a favor. want to do you a favor. I don't even want to be put on the spot. It's not Is this going like to put that. me on the spot in any way? No. And it's nothing you can tell Gary. No, I don't. I'd rather. I don't want to. It, things get can get screwed up that way. I'd rather. Talk no, to no, 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 no. Gary's good at this. No. <laughs> do you want bone marrow? No. Okay. Because right, the answer is no. It, it, okay. Is it business related? I, I don't want to talk about it. No, 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 hold on. I have no desire. Any, I'm not, no, I'm not, it have it's to just do, something I want to talk to you about. Does it have to do with I want to talk to Gary about it. I want to talk to Yeah, but, you know, a lot of people, you know, Cabby calls me every night. Yeah, but it's not going to be like that. I promise. Is it going to be like, hey, ABC called and said they want me to do something, but it's going to. I'm going to need two days off. Okay, no, I have permission no, to write, write a book. No, it's nothing about right, nothing like that. Nothing about business. <laughs> it has nothing it, to do with what goes just, on in here. And I'm not trying to find out what it is. I'm just trying to find out whether I should be involved. Does it have anything to do with no, what goes no, on no, here? No, 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 it's, it's about you it's and about your me. kids and your personal life. It's something personal I want to talk to you about. All right, but not about business. It's about you and I. I want to talk oh, to you oh, about. oh, you want to know if I'm really mad at you? And no, stuff? no, 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 no. I'm, I'm fine. Please. No, no, it's nothing to do with that. I mean, it's about it's just a conversation I want to have with you and I. You got to understand something. I know you've never been through a divorce, have you? Have you ever no, been through a divorce? Not yet. Right. When you go through a divorce, there are, and you got daughters and everything else, there are issues every frigging minute. Everybody's got issues. And I'm, I'm, I will be there for my kids to the end of the earth. I will sit and work anything out with them. But you are not my child. I don't want you. I don't 15 want years I've been I don't want. I don't want. Go to Gary, please. And no, I don't want. I don't want to, want to meet with you. That's what I'm saying. It's not about you me, is it? No. Well, no. Well. <laughs> I don't want to meet with you. I'm telling you in the, in the kindest way. <laughs> You're not my son. You're not Howard Jr. Fred never meets with me, ever. You know, there have been well, things about Fred personally that I find out months later. I can't believe months, the guy. Years. The what guy hasn't even come I, to I, tell I me. I just found out something in, in yesterday. That's what I'm friend. saying. <laughs> what did you find out? I found out nothing. Uh, well, he wouldn't tell us, but it was a very bizarre. <laughs> what? <laughs> What'd you uh, find out? Uh, well, I don't even I don't know. Fred. No, no, no. Here, I, I can give you the, the soft. I'll give you the soft version of it. We somehow got into a conversation about our, all our lives growing up. In the office, and we all started having this uh, contest over, you know, who who suffered more as a child. And Fred just said, "You know what?" After me and Gary explained our worst traumas as a kid, Fred just said, "Listen, I have you beat, but I'm not telling you what he left." What did he say? What did he say? He said, "I have you both beat," and then he left. <laughs> he didn't tell you the answer. Yeah. He said, "I don't even want to tell you, but trust me." He's told me. Yeah. He said, "Trust me, you guys. It's not he even in the Fred will beat any of you." Really? really? Maybe, maybe with the exception of Robin. Wow. Robin had it really bad. I was actually thinking about that. <laughs> yeah, I think Robin. I hope it's not worse than I'm Robin. I'm gonna say, Robin's boy, oh boy, I gotta hear it's that. It's right up. Nothing's it's right up there. Robin. It's right up there with Robin. Yeah, you have. But really? Robin always wins that one. <laughs> His hands down. That's how crazy the conversation yeah, was. You know, yeah. I felt good. My dad checked me for a hernia. That's as close as I come to Robin's story. <laughs> how crazy That's the conversation cool. was. I felt good that Fred told me that I had worse than Gary. <laughs> right. Well, you did. All right. Well, you know what? I don't care. Listen, I bet. You have had a tough life, and I bet you there's, there's a lot of uh, pain in your life, and you're looking for advice and counsel. I don't really want to be the guy to do it. You're, a, uh, yeah. are you, you're not a friend of mine? That no. Dance, <laughs> no. no, I'm really not. Really? I'm really not. I'm not. I don't know what you'd call me. I'm a co-worker. All right. <clears throat> hey, you don't even want to be your boss and tell you what to do. Hey, right. uh, you do that with Gary. Gary's your boss. <laughs> I'm just a guy on the radio. I'm freewheeling.
I'm a dopey dish jockey. Don't ask me anything. Well, he's a dopey guy, too. Mm -hmm. I wanted to tell you my side of, of a story with John. The other day, John says to me, you know, give me a ride home. First of all, right. you're taking me home is how he announces it. Right. You know. Well, so I'm like, eh, what the hell? I'm leaving right now. What the hell? And as we're going home, he says, do you want to see my apartment? But, oh, no. As we're walking. I said, you want to take me home. Wait a minute. Wait. Stop you want to make a mortgage payment? <laughs> <laughs> he gets into the car, and as we're driving out of the garage, he goes, oh, I left my bag upstairs. The bag you told him to get so yeah. he could organize himself? <laughs> I left my bag upstairs. All right, so I don't know what that means. The bag that was he... supposed to make everything easy? Right, right, right. So I don't know what that means. He doesn't seem to want to go back and get it. He just goes, oh, let's go. Right. We go, I find this neighborhood of his, I park, I find a parking spot. But the, so but the bag is supposed to have his keys and his wallet and everything. You know him. Yeah. I don't. Right. So we park. <laughs> he says, come see my apartment. So I find a parking spot, park. We go to the door. John looks at the door. I don't have my keys. Uh, <laughs> and so now an idiot. he rings his doorbell. <laughs> And nothing happens. Yeah, there's no one there. He goes, somebody's got to be there. He rings it again. Hmm. Nothing happens. Right. He rings it a third time. Nothing happens. Right. Finally, he says, I don't know where she is. Then he. But his says, mother, you mean? Right. Uh, Whatever she... mother. Where's means. my mommy to let yeah. me in from funny. school? How what? dare she not be home when I don't have my right, keys? Right. Right. So then, worse. it gets worse, yeah. So then I'm like, ring anybody's doorbell. Get us inside this stupid <laughs> The new nightmare ma neighbor. Yeah. So he starts ringing the superintendent's <laughs> bell. The superintendent's not there. Then I ring the neighbor. He rings the neighbor next door. I ring the neighbor down. Why don't you leave at this house. point? Why are you still there? Because now She's having too much fun. Him. He's on the street, and I don't know where anybody is who's connected to him. He's in a real good neighborhood. Nothing will happen to him. No. So, <laughs> so now the neighbor downstairs answers, and we explain to her that he's locked out of his apartment. His keys are somewhere. Let him in. She buzzes us in. We get through the two doors. Right. And we're standing there looking at the elevator. He needs a key to turn the elevator. You're an idiot. It's all in your bag, right? But why would you leave your bag? I, I forgot. Wait a minute. I forgot the bag. It, it continues to get worse. So then he looks at me. I don't know. what. what you live on the 10th floor? He says, we're going to have to walk up. I'm looking at him. He goes to the stairwell. That door is locked. Of course. Of course. So now we're st we're stuck in the lobby. <laughs> <laughs> so finally, he says, he gets on the phone and he calls Susanna, his mom. She happens to be getting her nails getting done. Getting her nails done. So how yeah, dare she get terrible. her nails done you. while he needs to get into the house? Yeah, but come on, Mom. So now i got to drive John to the nail salon. <laughs> Why are you so doing this? Because I wind up getting <clears throat> stuck in his You're crazy. Mess. I drive him to the nail salon so he can get her keys and right. then bring him back home. And did you go up to the apartment? So I, I, now I better see this right. apartment. And I saw the 20 floors of the Empire State Building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. isn't that funny? Uh, there, there's uh, Robin, my, 60, uh, Robin. Uh, there's my view of the Empire State Building. I stand on the, stand on the we toilet. We counted. We actually counted. And it was 60. Uh, uh, do, you, do you want one more little John story oh, or are we tired of yeah, it? Yeah, I'm tired. Can I, I go after Artie? It's, it's, not, it's not long. It's not long. Yeah. You might have short, too. We do a stand-up gig in San Diego last Saturday, right? We all get paid after the gig in separate checks. Mm -hmm. So we go out to a club in San Diego after the gig. We go home, go back to the hotel. Yeah. A bunch of us are standing in the lobby of the hotel just talking. So John's all tired. He goes, ah, I'm going to go upstairs. He leaves. And I go, by John. I glance down on the lobby floor and I go, what's that? And it's John's check. Uh, oh, my God. It was his check. He would have looked. Uh, I said, John, is that your check? He goes, oh, thanks. You mean the whole point for being there? Yeah, the whole laying point. Laying on the floor. You know, you know, John did a gig a couple of months ago, and he couldn't pay everybody in the gig because on the way home from Washington, he decided he had to urinate on the highway, and he lost the check that he got from the gig to pay everyone. Oh, yeah. Not just that his check, but everybody's one. check. Mm -hmm. And I have to go in and insure. All right, so so here's the, here's the point because I have to break. Um, I don't want to meet with you. I don't. I'm being honest. I don't care what's going on. I don't want to know. It's none of my concern. You're a big boy. Take care of it yourself. I don't want to handle it. I don't even want to advise you.
Can't be done in a note, John? Uh, if that's the way you want me to do it. I would prefer you don't even write me the note. <laughs> I mean, I don't know why Gary can't be told all of this. Well, apparently it's not business-oriented, Howard. Well, it, it is. Trust me. He's lying. I know it. I can look in his eyes and know he's lying. He's not fighting back hard on that one. Uh, no. It's, it's, it is a, it, there's a lot of things I want to talk to you about. So write the note to your father, John Melendez Sr., or whatever his name is. What's his name? What's your dad's name? Ralph. Write to Ralph. <laughs> Ralph. I'm not Ralph. Truly, you're on the air. Hey, Howard, you watch Larry Sanders' show, right? Yeah. You know, there was an episode where he wanted to be plugged into the loop. Yeah, the loop. yeah, yeah. And then Larry goes, hey, get me. You know what? I don't want to be plugged into the loop. That's an evil loop. That's an evil point. loop. At one point, he's sitting with the black secretary, and he's going, I think you should check your mom into the home. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He did Jimmy Garoppolo, and he says to her, Okay, get rid of the car, dump the boyfriend, and be nicer to your mom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah well, somehow I'm getting sucked into the evil loop. I got, I got a funny John story, too. I've been trying to, like, you know, do some nice things, have everyone get together, you know, have dinner together. We we had Friday night. I went to John's party to hang out. I go to John's that house. Was fun? Yeah, it was fun. But now, as soon as I do that, it turns into, uh-oh, uh -oh, uh -oh, we're pals. It, the worst thing is to be his pal. Right. How, how many times have I asked you for a conversation in the 15 years I've been here? Come on. Oh, come on. Tons. Oh. But now I put you on Gary. Oh, I don't want to have it. I mean, if you'll write down the exact topic, you know, in a sentence, and I'll determine whether it has anything to do with business, I'm okay with that. And then maybe I'll talk to you. But I, I, I need protection in this conversation. <laughs> A 25-minute conversation about a lot of things. I said 15 to 20 minutes. Yeah, I don't even want. I don't want to discuss your career, where you're going in life. I don't even care. I don't. I know you might want to even say, "Can you confidentially tell me if you're leaving in two and a half years?" It might even be something like that. I, you know, because I got, I got to make a plan. I, I don't want to have that conversation with you. You're not the guy to have that conversation with. It's none of your business what I'm going to do. I'll tell you when I'm ready to tell you. I don't even know what I'm going to do. Okay? Does that answer the question? <laughs> no. All right. Whatever. God only knows, because you know it's going to end in, oh, 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 can I have permission? <laughs> well, you know, it's funny. We were just sitting out there. And I need time to think about your permissions from now on. I'm evidently not putting enough time in on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the answer is never yes or no. No. It's always like, why is he bothering me? But you know what? We were just out there, and I said, you know, John, Howard's right, because I've tried to get a hold of you. I tried to get a hold of you last week, and you're hard to get a hold of. I said, you got to update your numbers. I and, have. And he goes, I always do. And I said, I called you last week. It doesn't tell phone. anybody. No, though. I said, I called you on your cell phone. He goes, oh, I have two cell phones. But yeah. I don't think I have the second cell phone number. Neither does he. And you both who? have both numbers. I thought you lost one of the cell phones. No, I have the same numbers, the same phones. I updated with Emery t three months ago. It's all the same numbers. And, and the number I, I called you with was the number I was at. All I know is I have three numbers in my book. One yeah. is just a full message. Yeah. The other one was, do do do. That number is no longer do. Oh, my. And then another number that just doesn't even... Uh, I got a stranger. Oh, you got a total... <laughs> yeah, a stranger. Someone I don't know. Oh, that's funny. You had a longer conversation yeah. with them than you do with John. Yeah, yeah. Well, what can I tell you? Hey, uh, hey, I love you. I think you're a great guy. You're the life of the party and everything. But, you know, I, I, that's as far as it goes. I don't want to hear your problems. Don't think we're going into that area. It's not good for me. I got so many people with problems in my life, John. And I've got so many of my own. It, it, you can't imagine what a burden you become when <laughs> when you ask me to have a 25-minute meeting. Uh -huh. All right. So I'm being honest. I'm keeping it real because you're keeping it real. So uh, let's all keep it real. Uh, I'm not let's able to keep, keep it real, real because I'm keeping it real. Hey, Howard, is there a day that Fred might say what that uh, thing is? No. Nope. Uh, is, is Fred's worse than Robin? No. It's... It's up there, but it's not worse than Robin. I really hope not. I'm winning uh -huh. by how much? <laughs> my hand. You yeah, you, 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 you win by a finger. Oh, oh, oh you asked for a dear. measurement. <laughs> up to the knuckle? Or what? Uh, up to the knuckle. <laughs> yeah. All right, look, Robin. Enough of your problems. <laughs> Over in this room, is there anybody in this room that had, like, a really happy childhood? Arnie. No, even Arnie. Well, yeah, I, honestly, I honestly did, yeah. I, I love it. Although Artie did finally admit to us a, a couple of but, months But ago. Artie was a crack Wait. cocaine addict. Yeah, right. like, like, how did that happen? And a gambler. Not when I was a happy life. Not when I was a kid. Not when I was a kid. Artie admitted to us a couple of weeks ago that maybe as much as he loved his dad, maybe his dad should have been more of a dad and less of a pal. No, no, no. I, 
I think what happened was something happened that was out of his control. I had a great childhood, but right after my 18th birthday, he fell off a roof. Well, 18, you're 18. already fully formed. Yeah, you yeah, were but talking about I'm that. I'm saying, so that's when the majority of my problems started. Yeah. That, now yeah. we're yelling at him because he's not complaining. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. Artie, you told us that, like, when you were younger, you would get suspended from school and your mother would yell at you, and then your father would give you the elbow. Hey, what'd you do? Yeah, you he's know? a good guy. I sounds like a great dad. I'd love, I'd love a dad like that. If if he didn't fall, I'm not blaming him for falling either. I but then think... again, there's something going on, Artie. Because look, he's fat. That's that's a big indication of problems. Right. He's eating out of control. I mean, out of control, gross, grossly out of control. I've curved that a little. All right. the... For today. Yeah, you're working. He on... drinks out of control. There's the uh, the gambling addiction. The gambling which is, addiction. Which is clearly, I think you have a gambling problem, except it hasn't become a problem again yet. Because he's making a lot of money. Right. Oh, yeah. Well. Laugh, funny man, laugh. <laughs> okay, look, we got to take a break. You hit a lot of nails right on the head. Right, exactly. <laughs> so where did that come from? Some happy childhood? I had a happy We're childhood. Better off. I had a very fun sort of blue you, collar, nice yeah, childhood. You, 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 hang out with us you hang out with us, and we'll tell you how good your childhood was. All right, I'll tell you. Nothing ever happened to me. To was. Did you finish high school? I I had to go to summer school to graduate. He had to go back in the summer, but they got the. That's so hard. bad. I, I maybe didn't... they just <clears throat> maybe he had a happy childhood. Just weren't a lot of limits, you know, not a lot of. Right, I'd a lot of limits on him. It was, it was, it was a fun time. A lot of good food, a lot of good, a lot of good food. <laughs> well, what Artie is saying is his dad was so good he should have lived forever and never become infirm because I, then Artie had to fall apart. I think I went through a time where All right, I, you know what? I, I don't care him. about your problems. I, I don't care, John. Can I just have twenty-five minutes with you? I just want right. to talk about my father. Hey, Shuli, I gotta go. Hey, Howard, I just want to let you know, uh, Jimmy Florentine was in town this weekend in Vegas. Yeah. And uh, I went to dinner with him and his girlfriend. Yeah. His girlfriend is so hot. And Did she touch your penis? Well, she brought a friend with her, like this stripper uh, chick. Oh, yeah, we know her. And, uh, and, well, this is and when they were getting it on, let me, let me guess. Is this that cute Russian chick or something? No, this is a chick out here from Vegas that, that they hooked up with, like, uh, I don't know, instantly. Like, these girls are attracted to each other somehow. Yeah, I know. And then they, they were doing stuff to each other over dinner, right? Yeah, and Jim's like, while they're like doing stuff, Jim's like totally like effing with the waiter, like just playing pranks on. No, yeah, Jim doesn't. Jim apparently doesn't get jealous at all. No, Jim is like, he's, he's cool. Got the best you know that she, world. Jim's girlfriend's got to travel with stuffed animals. She does. Yeah. Good. <laughs> she's got to travel with stuffed animals. Yeah. She is shot out of a cannon too. Yeah, I know. Yeah, she's like a guy. <laughs> First time I met her, she just took took my balls and grabbed them. Uh, yeah. She did that to me too. Yeah. Uh, by the way, does uh, you know does Jimmy give you do you a solid, Julie, and invite you uh, into the hotel room? No, no, what no. Do you know? <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think Jimmy's inviting any men around. No, yeah. Jimmy invites other chicks yeah. in. Help a brother out. Yeah, yeah what is he crazy? I've only seen pictures. Right, yeah, he, he get your own action is what his attitude is. <laughs> All right, thank you, Shuli. I got to run, and uh, we got to take a break. We'll be back. We got a big show for you today, John. No meeting, no twenty five minutes. <laughs> How about a what? Nothing. I don't know what to say. No. <laughs> no. All right. If you were a hot chick, it'd be different. You were you were kidding on me, weren't you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what's gonna be now. You were, I, you, were, I, you were kidding. I'm not kidding. I'm more comfortable having this conversation on the air. Gary, could you leave the room? I wanna. I wanna. I wanna. I don't know. I clearly I wanna. All right. We're gonna take a break.